Hey folks, Father Sampati from CG Virus here. Today we're going to see how to work with CryptoMat in Natron. Basically, we have created a new plugin for that. So, let's get started. So, we have a Blender scene here, and uh, we have an animated ball here. So, the CryptoMat speciality is basically it can extract a motion blur pass, motion blur pass uh, uh, to, uh, for matting also it can uh, um, uh, extract transparency and depth of field so that's why we are going to use a motion blur uh, pass here so i have enabled motion blur here i'm in a cycle uh, enabled motion blur here these are my settings and uh, these are my sample settings in my pass i have enabled object only cryptomat object uh, pass you can also use material pass as well not a problem you can also use asset pass uh, uh, you know uh, without any problem so yeah i'm just uh, for simplicity i'm just using object pass here and uh, what else uh, i'm using combined as well combined pass and yeah now let's go to the output and uh, in the output section uh, i'm just giving it my location uh, I'm using OpenEX or multi layer. This one is pretty much important. Without OpenEX or multi layer, you cannot work with it. And uh, also using RGBA and also full float, that means 32 bit float channel. Okay. Uh, 16 bit float channel will, will not work with uh, uh, CryptoMat. Okay. CryptoMat needs 32 bit channel. Also, I'm using the codec GIPS lossless. Uh, what I have seen that uh, Jeep lossless or Jeeps lossless, these two are working with CryptoMat in Blender right now. So I'm just using Jeeps. Yeah. Okay. So let's save it, and uh, you can see the render here. Okay. So just render the animation here, and it will be done. Okay. I have already done this. So uh, let's go to Natron and let's start working with it. So before uh, uh, going further, uh, what you need to do is basically go to the Natron GitHub IO, go to the download section, and uh, go to the community plugins, and uh, download it. Download the community plugins. I will update it here, and uh, then install it. There are the installation process. So after installing it, restart Natron, and uh, let's get it started. There we go. So uh, you will find the community plugin uh, for Cryptomat in uh, community plugin folder keyer, and there is Cryptomat keyer. There is also another Cryptomat uh, uh, plugin here. Uh, is called uh, in GLSL. This is called Cryptomat GL. This was uh, made uh, by one of our uh, best, uh, best of the best uh, uh, contributor uh, for. Uh, community plugin uh, but uh, unfortunately this uh, plugin is working but uh, there are some uh, glitches so I have tried to um, yeah I have tried to um, enable it uh, you know uh, refactor it a little bit so and uh, I have changed uh, the whole interface actually so it is much more stable now so I will uh, talk with the developer for uh, if you need uh, something uh, you know some code assistance uh, we can develop it furthermore uh, anyway so let's uh, get into it and uh, press tab uh, first read press R and here is our can reader press 1 and uh, here is our animation so you will find uh, the Cryptomat section in the read node here you will find the Cryptomat here object zero this has the Cryptomat informations okay there is also object one which seems to be uh, empty and uh, object two is empty as well so uh, we're going to use that so let's go to the composite here and now we need to plug a shuffle note here shuffle note there we go plug it in here and uh, Let's go here uh, in the R, and you will see that object zero dot R is here. Okay, object zero dot R. So just 
select it and you will find your channel here okay rgba all right so now let's go to tab and let's go to crypto crypto and uh, this one is called cryptomat gear all right cryptomat gear enable it here you will see there are 15 mat ids uh, so let's talk about those the first one is shuffle in this is the shuffle in you need to in the shuffle press one here and uh, uh, now we need to select our mat so how to select it uh, go to the shuffle press one and uh, you will see your shuffle then go to the crypto mat here is our mat id one so mat id is basically how um, uh, each ids all right so uh, suppose i'm i want to um, do the ball first so let's go here mat id one press control uh, uh, sorry not uh, just uh, check this color ticker here press control and grab this color okay i'm just grabbing it grabbing this color so somewhere here okay now click this speaker to lock it so now if i go to the one you can see that we already have these things so you can see that uh, this pixelation problem pixelation uh, it has come from uh, you know the deep pixel so uh, what you can do is basically enable this gear uh, to you know uh, create a fresh ma mask actually uh, what is happening is basically let's uh, des uh, let's delete this guy so what we can do is basically to delete a kia you just need to go zero all zero and it will be deleted so let's see this guy okay this cylinder so let's go here press control then click here or anywhere else okay without any control so then let's go here this one you can see this one is fresh mat because uh it doesn't have any uh sample distribution you know the noisy sample this one has some noise samples okay you can see this noise samples it has come from blender uh, the cycle so it doesn't matter it will it can uh clean it up so uh, let's go here and let's deselect it there we go and let's go here let's select it there we go and here is our here so i'm going to check it yeah now let's see the thing to see the thing uh, what you need to do is basically you need to create uh, let's create a color correction mode here press c color correct i'm going to plug the source here there we go uh let's desaturate everything first then go to this mask node and connect it to here so now you can see only the ball is desaturated okay so you can see the animation so this is the power of crypto mat that it can uh you know extract the alpha semi-transparent alpha as well so this is the power you can also use depth of field with it all right so now let's do another one uh let's uh grab another crypto mat let's use this let's use this one okay i'm pressing control oh by the way uh if you see this uh check uncheck this gear here first then control press control and select it then unlock it okay so now if we go here press one you can see your alpha is here as well so if i go to one you can see that everything is done but these glitches are there you can zoom in uh, zoom in to make uh, make this thing uh, uh, solved or uh, you can use the gear for this so now we have two desaturated mat so yeah it's that easy so if i go to saturation suppose if i want to contrast it a little bit i can do it so whatever you want to do with it you can do it like that so we are using mask for this so in many situations uh, suppose i want to use double crypto mat okay two crypto mats so what you can do for this thing is basically 
just disable this mask I don't need that and disable the source as well okay press 1 you can see uh, in the crypto mat there is another node it is called BG to extract mask so you can extract mask directly so what you need to do is basically plug it in in your BG that means your beauty pass okay I have plugged it in I'm just going to shift it here there you go plugged it in in BG mat now if you enable this extract mass it will extract your passes which is good and now you can just directly calibrate it and uh, now if you want to see it let's go to um, another march node press a march node go to B for background a for this guy press one here and you can see your crypto mat as well so suppose now I want to make multiple uh, crypto mats suppose I need this guy uh, to be changed so what can you do is basically you can go here this is this there you go okay uh, okay so let's create another crypto mat crypto mat here shuffle in BG in okay so now let's select this guy I'm going to crypto mat 2 yeah let's go to crypto mat 2 select it uh, you need to uncheck the gear here uh, then select it press control and suppose this one okay so lock it here we go so if I go here this one you can see if I enable the extract mask here it will extract the mask here so suppose I need uh, a color question here as well so what you can do is basically go here press C a color correction source there we go and uh, what you can do is basically you can just A2 here there we go uh, this only happens when actually uh, this glitch only happens if your render has glitches that means you know uh, if your render has sub pixels uh, it will uh, do stuff like that so natron luckily natron has a solution so it's good to have these things thanks to the developers so if I go to the color correction I can desaturate it okay uh, or I can you know change the color as well not a problem so that's how I can work with it okay so what I'm doing is basically extract the mask first then color correct color correct and uh, march over so this one is the background okay this one is the background this one is these are the foregrounds so if I go here you will see this mask if I go here you will see this mask and combining all of them you will see this so this is how it works uh, it can be a bit intimidating first so if you want to uh, see more clear uh, tutorial uh, let me know I will uh, demonstrate it uh, again so yeah that's it and this one is called cryptomat gear there is also a cryptomat GL okay so we are using cryptomat gear I will uh, talk to the developer and uh, I will try to uh, debug the cryptomat GL as well because cryptomat GL has some different type of properties uh, the philosophy is pretty much same but it has some different type of properties uh, there are RGB channel uh, which is much more advanced so this one is pretty much simpler version you know so yeah that's how you can work with it so let me know uh, what do you think about it and uh, if you need uh, much more assistance uh, let me know that too so uh, I can make another tutorial as well so yeah thank you and bye bye I'm Fat Sambuti from CG Virus and we're going to see you next time bye bye